Welcome to Willow Slough DX, I'm Dan. I'm going to show you the antenna I use to receive Madagascar World Voice, a shortwave radio station in Madagascar. I'm particularly happy with this because this is a, quite a DX catch. It's nearly 11,000 miles away from my home here in Northern California. Got this a few days ago. This is the mag mount portion of the antenna. It has a plexiglass base made out of two sheets of thin plexiglass bolted together. This is a Shakespeare ratchet style antenna mount. Up here we have a couple pieces of PVC pipe adapters and couplers. And here a piece of ABS pipe, nine inches long. It could be PVC, it's your choice. Uh, the, the antenna mast actually fits in here. Uh, fits loosely into that uh, piece of pipe. On the underside you can see the six neodymium magnets. Each has a set of felt pads to protect your car's paint finish. I mounted these magnets in a way that they would remain flexible. There is a piece of quarter inch vinyl tubing along the uh, machine screw and this acts like a bushing, flexible bushing, so that these magnets will conform to the shape of your vehicle. As you can see, this thing has quite a grip. The two other main parts of this antenna are the antenna itself and this Shakespeare Wonder Pole fishing pole. It's a telescopic pole, three foot, ten inches in length when collapsed. This is the antenna mast, folks, and it's 20 feet long. The antenna is a 22 gauge wire. I have a clip on the end. I use this little paint roller just to wind it up and keep it handy. We'll see it in action when I wreck this antenna next. Let's put this antenna in the air. This little three inch roller works pretty well for holding, holding a wire and keeping it in place. Just take a few feet of wire off. Remove the cap from your wonder pole and the top section of the rod. The top section clip, clips on with this bit of uh, fishing gear. Like that. Now we're going to erect the wonder pole. Now you notice each of these sections locks together like that. And when I lock the sections together I am locking, I am turning the lower section only. This is to keep from wrapping the wire around the wonder pole. It's a lot easier to take down if it's not wrapped around the pole. This pole is inexpensive and very nicely made. I'm very impressed by the Shakespeare wonder pole. I don't think I'll take it fishing. Uh, bream is not my thing. Or uh, crappy. It's actually a crappy pole. You could call this the crappy antenna, but gosh, it makes a nice vertical antenna. Now we're simply going to drop the wonder pole into the PVC pipe, ABS pipe, and there we are. You can adjust the angle, but I had it just about right there. Take your antenna wire, run it around to the dashboard of the car, and you're ready to go. Run the antenna wire from the uh, antenna over to the dashboard of the car where you want to keep your portable radio. I'm using the little clip to uh, keep the wire neat and uh, lying against the mast. That's 20 feet of vertical antenna. Total of 29 feet of line. That includes the line that runs from the antenna over to the uh, car's dashboard. If you want to put this antenna together for yourself, I have a parts list at the end of this video. It includes the cost of most of the items as well. The antenna does pretty well. You know, it's a, it's a vertical antenna and at 29 feet long, it is definitely going to give you stronger signals than the uh, telescopic whip antennas on your radios. I have a, a Sangean 
ATS-909X and the Eaton Grundig Edition satellite. I tested both of these on this antenna, and this antenna will give you a, oh, a easily two to three times the signal the WIP antennas will, uh, up to four times depending on the frequency. So it definitely is an effective antenna. It doesn't do miracles. The real reason why this antenna works is it gets you out of the RFI fields in the suburbs and in the cities. Uh, get a few miles out of town and uh, park your car uh, off the road in a safe place and put up this antenna and you'll enjoy a huge decrease in the, uh, in the noise level. It'll, it'll move from like S6 down to S1. Uh, that's how, uh, how awful RFI is in some neighborhoods. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching Willow Sleuth DX.